So today we are going to talk about pre-teaching a little bit. Pre-teaching is a skill that is going to be important for everybody to feel comfortable with because it's something that we do all the time. It really sets our campers and sometimes us up for success. Pre-teaching is exactly what it sounds like. You are teaching the skill or the behavior that you want your camper to exhibit, okay? It's practice with them, you're telling them what you want, you're giving them the opportunity to practice, you're helping them make corrections if they need to. Sometimes we can pre-teach things one time and it's fine. Sometimes we have to pre-teach many times. Pre-teaching is not a consequence. It's not something we do after a camper doesn't do something correctly and we do it as a way to provide a consequence, okay? So Miss Christy and I are going to show you a simple pre-teaching um, surrounding how we behave in the dining room. So Christy, we are getting ready to go to lunch. And when we go to lunch, um, one of the things that's really important is that we stand together in a line and we wait patiently for the bell to ring for us to go into the big house, okay? So sometimes when we get there, all of our friends are there. All of Unit 1 is going to be there. And you're going to want to, and there's lots of staff, right? And sometimes there's guests too, so there's lots of people to visit with. And you're going to want to go and maybe go see Mr. Seth or go see Mrs. Claire or go see your therapist. But what I want you to do is to stay in one place with your unit or with your cabin and keep your hands to self, okay, and wait patiently. So what we do here is your unit one has lines where we stand and you can talk to your friends behind you or the girls next to you, but I want you to kind of stand in that area, okay? Okay. So when we walk up to the big house, you're going to see the lines that say unit one and they're all, they're in pink chalk right along the front of the big house. And you're going to walk with your counselor and your counselor will show you too. You're going to walk with your counselor to that line. You're going to put your feet on the line and you're going to look at the front of the big house and you're just, that's where you're going to stand. Okay. Now you don't have to stand like you're in the army and be serious and just look. But I don't want you to leave. I don't want you running around. So you're going to have a friend in front of you and a friend behind you. We can turn and talk to them. You're going to have a friend next to you and a friend on this side and you can talk to them. But you're not going to run around. Okay, that's what you're not going to do. Does that make sense to you? Uh -huh. Okay, so let's practice it. Let's pretend that there's a line right here. And you're walking up to the big house and you're gonna stand, where are you gonna stand? If the line's here, where are you gonna stand? Um, right here. Awesome, thank you. Thank you for listening. You clearly were listening to what I was asking you to do. So that's what you're gonna do. So if I'm coming up and I'm, not, I'm playing and I come up and I go, Christy, Let's go run over there. What are you going to do? I have to stay here. Yes. Awesome job. Do you have to, if I'm standing next to you, what can we do? We can talk. Yeah, we can talk. We can maybe play a game with each other or play if we have, um, if we have bracelets to make, we can make bracelets together. We can sing a song together. What if our counselors say that let's, let's play Simon Says? We can play Simon Says. Absolutely. I love Simon Says. It's one of my favorite games. Do you like it? I do. Yeah, cool. Okay. All right. Does it feel, does that make sense to you? Yes. So you feel like when we go to lunch together later on, you'll know what to do? I think so. Okay. Awesome job. Do you want to try it again or do you feel okay? Um, let's try again. Okay. So let's pretend we're walking up and remember that's where the line is. What are we going to do? Perfect, but do you have to stand like that the whole time? If I'm standing next to you. Oh, hi. Hi, good job. Okay, you feel okay about that? Uh -huh. Okay, and if we try it and it's, you don't do it exactly right the first time, that's okay. We'll just practice it again, okay? Okay. Good girl, thank you. So that was just kind of a quick little example of pre-teaching. When you guys get here, we will pre-teach for you and we'll practice it. But really, it's exactly what it says which is telling your camper what you want them to do and giving them the opportunity to practice it, praising them when they, when they do what you ask and do what you want them to do and correcting them when they don't. And it's just a great way so that you can be, 
you and your camper can be successful during camp.